Hey, I'm Mike from MusicRadioCreative.com. In this video, I'll show you how to crop, rotate, and do picture in picture inside Adobe Premiere Rush CC. So here we are uh, with a project I've been working on. Here's a clip of me speaking to camera. Now, selecting this, and uh, that's a nice pose, isn't it? How about that one? Uh, I can go into the crop and rotate icon here, and this brings up a lot of different options for me. So obviously, I can uh, move around the horizontal positioning of anything I like. Uh, the vertical positioning, I can rotate this around any way I like and turn it upside down. Uh, you can do all those kind of things uh, with the basic transform features that you've got here. Uh, you can also scale it, so maintaining proportions means uh, it goes equally on the width and height, so I can make that 200%, make myself a lot closer there if I want, or make myself smaller like so. Uh, lots of cool stuff there. But if I really want, I can delve into advanced and I can start cropping, so I could crop here, and here, and then over here, and over here. So there's this kind of like almost little square of me talking to camera. Uh, the opacity, I can change that. This will be uh, better viewable when I'm moving this onto a new track. And I can feather it at the edge as well. So if I move that all the way up to be a feathered edge, you'll see here uh, that we get a nice feather around the edges of the uh, the clip, but of course, because I've cropped it, you can only see them when I uncrop here. So I'm gonna uncrop, and you'll see the feathering at the edge. I'm gonna scale this down now, and then I can move this around. And now for picture in picture mode, uh, I would just simply grab this, pull this onto a new track, and put it on top of the other video track that I want to do picture in picture with, and boom, in a second, when everything renders out, there is my picture in picture. So I can put this in the bottom right. Uh, I can then uh, make the opacity uh, just like that. So it's slightly opaque there. I can change this so I can make it really small. Maybe put it in the top right here to be just a, a tiny little narration thing. Really the, uh, the limit here again is your imagination. Change the feathering if I want. Uh, make it a bit bigger if I need to, and it's as easy as just grabbing and dragging this to any part of the video that you would like your newly cropped and even slightly rotated video to be uh, once you get it uh, at, the, at the right angle for you. Uh, it could be something like that up in the top left, whatever you want. And of course, then you've got the audio and video from both clips playing. We're working with two clips suddenly in the Adobe Premiere Rush CC timeline. If at any point I want to just get rid of this, I can switch off the eyeball, get that out. I can mute the audio if I want from that clip. I can use the eyeball to get rid of the clip on my master track, my first original track. And I can even make a cut with the scissors here if I want to cut this short. Uh, and have this end after a certain period of time. So, so much that is possible here with the crop and rotate tool. I hope you enjoy using it and let me know how you use this tool uh, in your own Adobe Premiere Rush CC projects in the comments to this video.